Hey everybody, it's your man Fit Man, and welcome to the ninth episode of Motivational Monday. Today's topic, we're talking about consistent quality effort, CQE, and why it is so vital to you having success. There are many folks who are unhappy with how they look, or unhappy with how their career is going, or just unhappy with life in general. But when you actually break it down to what's going on, you've got to ask yourself one question. Am I giving the consistent quality effort required to be successful? Am I consistent and is my effort of high quality? I've got two principles that relate to CQE. Number one is you've got to be consistent. So you're not gonna build a great body with an inconsistent training schedule and an inconsistent eating schedule. You can't train three days one week, zero days the next, one day the following week, two days the next, and expect your body to hold on to the gains that you're making. That's not how the game works. The only way to change your body is with consistency and then quality effort. When you look at athletes from, from all sports and you watch them play and they make it look so easy. It didn't become easy overnight. It required consistency of mastering the skill. Repetition is the master of all skill. Look at Steph Curry. Look at how he makes the jump shot look like poetry in motion. But it didn't come overnight. I know his dad is the great Del Curry, but it's not just genetics. It's the consistent quality effort he puts into Mastering that jump shot day in and day out. All those 25 foot, 27 foot, 30 foot shots that he's practicing every single day so that when he shoots them in the game, it looks effortless and we're left amazed. It's the repetition of the skill and the consistency of performing those repetitions that has allowed him to master the jump shot. So when it comes to building your body, you've got to get consistent with your training schedule. You've got to get consistent with the food you're eating. You've got to get consistent with your recovery. You've got to get consistent with making progressions in your training. It can't be haphazard. It can't be half effort. It can't be inconsistent. It can't be what the majority of people are doing because guess what? If you want to be above average and you want to be great and you want to be phenomenal, then you can't live in the world of average, doing average things, doing what everyone else does. I need that consistency from you. And I promise you, once you become consistent with your training, with your business, with your family, with your career, with whatever you're trying to do, then you're going to be successful in that endeavor. I promise you. Number two, principle two is quality effort. So consistency by itself, doesn't work if you're not giving the quality effort time in and time out. I know folks who go to the gym four days a week, five days a week, six days a week, and have the same exact body they had last year, two years ago, three years ago, six years ago. Why? Because there's no quality effort attached to the consistency. There's nothing worse than just showing up just to show up. There's nothing worse than just giving half effort. I'd rather you stay home than to show up and give half effort. When I think back to all the times in my life, education-wise, sports-wise, career-wise, when I gave half effort, it always resulted in lackluster results. Why? Because my effort wasn't high, the effort wasn't quality, and I didn't deserve to get the maximum result when I'm only giving half effort. I give 40%, I'm only gonna get 40% back. I give 60%, I'm only getting 60% back. Your body's not changing. You've been training a long time. You've been consistent. But are you putting in the effort? Do you challenge yourself in your training sessions? Or is every session easy? Every time you walk in, it's 135 on the bench. 
You never change the weight. Every time you walk in, it's 225 on the deadlift. You never change the weight. You never change the reps. You never change the rest times. You're giving your body no reason to change. Remember back to Motivational Monday, volume two. You've gotta get comfortable with being uncomfortable. Changes happen when you're uncomfortable. That's when they occur. So if you're giving lousy effort, weak effort, half effort, you're not gonna see the changes that you wanna see. You've gotta look in the mirror and say, hey, maybe I need to increase my effort. No one is responsible except you. I didn't give maximum effort early in my track career and guess what happened? It resulted in last place finishes at every single track meet. It wasn't until I gave that CQE did I start to become a better sprinter. When I started my business, I was very unsuccessful. Why? I wasn't giving the consistent quality effort. I would do a video one month and wouldn't do one for three months. But look at this with the Motivational Monday. It's consistent and it's quality effort. Every Monday it's gotta be out. Pow, 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 pow. No excuses. It's gotta be out. Gotta stay on top of it. When I was unsuccessful, I wasn't consistent. When I was unsuccessful, I wasn't giving quality effort. As I'm becoming more successful, I'm more consistent. As I'm becoming more successful, I'm giving quality effort. That is what it takes for you to reach your goal. So remember, give the consistent quality effort time in and time out. Look, you might be tired, you might be stressed, you might not wanna be there, but guess what? You still have control over how much effort you give. There's days when I'm tired, there's days when I'm stressed, but I always give the best effort that I can give. Those are the days that really separate you and show you what you're made of, okay? So start to apply CQE to everything you do in life, to whatever goals you're trying to attain, and I promise you that you will be successful and you will attain those goals. I thank you for checking out the ninth episode of Motivational Monday. It's your man, fit man, holla at a trainer when you see me in the gym. <laughs>